I really like these little Christmas... Oh my god! Doggo! What did they do to you? Doggo! <laughs> That's great. Oh, Doggo the red-nosed reindeer. What have you... Oh my god, he's found me a power slug. You're the best, I love you. Alright everybody, hello! And welcome back to finally another video on Satisfactory with me, Spacefish. Now, uh, well, you may all be thinking, well, Satisfactory on a Thursday, you've been gone for like half a week, what's happened? Um, you, you may all still be slightly able to hear that I'm, uh, I have been sick, I am still slightly sick, so, uh, please excuse if my voice isn't quite on point, if I've got, like, a little bit of voice cracks going on or something, or, uh, I just sound a little tired overall. Um, but yeah, I, I had announced it on my social media, I also tried to kind of push it in somewhere on the YouTube channel so you're all aware of where, um, but unfortunately I, uh, I was kind of a bit sick for like half of the week so I wasn't really able to catch up on any YouTube videos, so, um, well, starting today, gonna try and catch up on the schedule today with Satisfactory and, um, maybe gonna try and do a few double uploads or something so we can hopefully return to the schedule ASAP, but I do feel a lot better. As I said, still not quite cured, but good enough to finally get back to making videos for you guys. And holy moly, how much I've missed it. Wait, there is a Santa hat on this thing. What the? That's awesome. Um, but yeah, so there's been an update to Satisfactory. Uh, kind of been more of a Christmassy update. And before we actually check this out, I've, I've seen a, a gift parachuting down somewhere over here. I thought, unless, you know, I just totally imagined something. I'm confused. Is it still there? Is it gone? What happened? I was promised a gift. Wait, I'll, I'll have to kind of check out from my point of view where I saw it landing. Because uh, I did actually see that happen while I was waiting to film the intro to this episode. I was standing... Oh my god. I was standing... Oh! <laughs> yep. Uh, that's what happens when you don't play video games for half a week, apparently. I was standing here and it was it was coming down right around there. Oh, there it is! It's all the way out there. Wow, that's so big! I thought it was just a small gift, that's why I thought it was up here, but it's just so... Oh my god! What is this? Look at that! You've got a huge gift. Now the question is... Should we expect some trickery here? Or is this an actual gift? You never quite know with Coffee Stain Studios, do you? Let's uh, let's just get this thing out just in case. But that's cool. Pick up Fixmas Gift 10. Okay. 10 gifts. Oh my god, there's more! Oh! Do I see even more back there? There's more! Oh my god, there is gifts everywhere! Oh! More gifts! Wait, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm really interested what this is going to be, but yeah, so, oh my lordy lord, are we getting, oh my god, we're getting bombarded with gifts right now, what's even happening? Are you all seeing this? Including that, like, gift splash as well. I'm, I'm getting super distracted, but who doesn't like p picking up endless gifts, right? Like, what is this now? What do we do with this? That's kind of cool. But yeah, I mean, I, I had seen before actually uh, starting up the game, uh, you know, Satisfactory was now in like a fix mass version. Did, did a new gift just land right back there? Oh yeah, right in the poisonous area is great. Uh, but I, I really didn't estimate that I was... Oh, that was you. <laughs> I, I thought I was about to get, like, a gift thrown at my head or something. But I really didn't estimate that we would just get spammed with gifts today. I thought, you know, maybe there was going to be some snow or something, which would have been a cool thing too. But holy moly! Okay, let's let's check out what this is, because we seem to be getting an infinite amount of these, and I don't even know what it is. Can be obtained. Buildings and parts. 
and produced from this fixed holiday present. Watch the sky for deliverables from orbit. I mean, yeah, there, there is like, I don't, I don't even need to watch the sky. I can basically just move about the map and every five seconds at this point, I'll just run into one of these gifts. It's absolutely mad. Let's check this thing out as well. What do we, is there anything special in the store now? Or is it just, does it just have like a Santa hat? Seems it just has a Santa hat. But okay, I mean, that's fine. As you can see, we've got a coupon up here. And things are keeping, like, things keep flowing in there. It's, it's going to be absolute ages, I think, before we can actually afford. Ooh, interesting. Didn't know that one yet. But I think it's going to be absolute ages before we can actually afford one of these factory carts. But still, uh, that's going to keep going. Now, what do I do with these presents? Do I kind of go to a crafting bench with these? Or what's the deal here? I don't know. What do I do with these? Equipment workshop. No. Is there maybe something new I can build with which I can use these presents? I'm confused. Quite a lot, actually. So, because... I don't know. Like... No, I mean, that only splits the stack as you would be used to, right? But how do I use them? Special fixed buildings and parts can be obtained and produced from this fixed holiday present. I am so confused. How do you open it? Let me open my gift. Maybe I put it in there? No, I can't. Ah! Is it, is it surely not in here? Purchases? What's that? Oh, that's... Oh. It's kind of my... Is that where I get whatever I bought? Pretty much. Hmm. I mean, I can't seem to find anything in here that I can... Use these present thingies for, so I'm kind of confused. How do I use those now? I don't know. I don't want to waste all of time on this. Oh, look at this! <laughs> That's so cool! I didn't see that one either. I really like these little Christmas... Oh my god! Doggo! What did they do to you? Doggo! <laughs> That's great. Oh, Doggo the red-nosed reindeer. What have you... Oh my god, he's found me a power slug. You're the best, I love you. Huh? I didn't know doggos could just find power slugs like that. That's crazy. That's great. Free power shards for me. Well, you found some copper ore out here. I mean, we don't really need it, but I'm just going to take it off him anyways, just in case he finds some more power slugs. Now, I'm pretty sure we had a third doggo somewhere, but I've got no clue where I made that doggo's home at. And holy moly, these things are big. But what do I do with them now? Can't use them in here. I mean, it would be weird. Ah, oh, that's... I don't know, I've got a lot of these gifts now, but I've got no clue how to use them. Like, if we just look back in here, right, there, there's nothing on top that I could build here to use the gifts with, so... I'm unsure. If you know, please let me know down below in the comments. I don't want to waste all day on this, because I think that would be pretty boring. Um, maybe maybe we'll find out on the go somewhere. I'm I'm unsure, but okay for the time being So if you all remember in the last episode, we did get vehicular transport We did get ourselves a tractor. We did get steel production up and running except for the versatile frameworks Which I think we should probably get running soon as well because we do need those for the space elevator other than that I mean tier 3 is done Which is great tier 2. We've only got jump pants and the jelly landing pants, which actually could make sense to make sometime soon. I think we should kind of eye that. This advanced steel production, I don't think we need all too soon, except for, I mean, the Miner Mark II would be great, but I'm sure we would need a bunch of this stuff to actually build it, unfortunately. Xeno Basher, on the other hand, side, very high up in the priorities for me, I think, especially for these ginormous hoggies that we find sometimes. And it's not even too expensive to make, so maybe that's something to take care of today. Logistics Mark III also seem doable. 
So maybe also something to target for today. And this stuff we definitely need advanced steel production for. First things first, I'm going to select this as a milestone. I'm going to throw all these things in here. Give me one second, I'll be right back. Right, and I'm back. Sorry for that little interruption right there. So, I will need some more copper cables and cables in general, which is something to take care of. I also, what did I do to my inventory again to mess it up like this? I'm quite confused. I mean, it seems we've got like a few leaves and wood and stuff that we can maybe get rid of. We've also got this power slug, which I'm just already going to make into a power shard because, I mean, that's the stackable thing, right? I mean, if I end up having like a green power slug and then like a yellow one and mix them between and stuff, then it can get pretty messy pretty quick. So I'd rather just keep it sorted now. And let's also get rid of that one piece of wood and we'll get rid of that no those leaves i probably also need to cut down some more trees and stuff unfortunately because honestly i need a bit of biomass to keep my to keep my truck thingy running oh then again i mean we've got a lot of it in here so i'll just take a stack from there maybe fill up my truck real quick that's great what's that i thought i had just heard like some seagulls or something interesting Anyways, moving on. Oh, there we go. I found it. Okay. Took me long enough, but here we go now. We have got the Fixmas tree base. That's pretty sick. We need a lot of gifts, though. Holy moly. Okay, I mean, we've got a truck. That'll help us move around a lot quicker. Maybe it's actually time to hunt some gifts then. But first things first, I'm going to fill up this thing here. I'm going to put the rest into here as like a little bit of a reserve. And that should keep us going for quite the while. Now, what I will also need, before we actually move on, I'm going to grab a good bunch of copper wires out here. Which this thing is nearly filled up again, but nope. I I mean, I do need two, three stacks here. I think I need a bit more, to be honest, because I need to make cables and stuff as well. So we're just going to max our inventory out, I think. We're going to go over there. We're going to put the copper wires in. And then I'm going to just make a few cables for a second which I'm not going to show you all so I'll take care of that real quick I'll probably make like two full stacks so I've got some backups for myself and uh, then probably going to get rid of a few copper wires again and then we'll probably move on to hunt some gifts down and well maybe also take care of the whole versatile framework thingy and we'll definitely go and research this new weapon so we can uh, also hopefully move on to a second research this episode already. But anyways, I'm going to place a quick cut here. I'll be back with you all. <clears throat> Sorry, I'll be back with you all once we are done with these cables. Alright, and back we are. As you can see right here, I also just kind of took the chance real quick to get rid of some of the random things my doggos find me sometimes. And, uh, well sort my inventory a bit more in that regard. I am going to get rid of a few more of these copper wires before moving on, I think, is, well, we've honestly got a bit too many of those, so we can just make that cargo container fill up a bit more in turn. I'm going to go here real quick. I'm going to leave one of these stacks of wires in there, and first things first, I think, before we go for any sort of gifts, unless, hello, I want to drive? No, I don't want to, hmm weird hitbox right there but before we go for any of these gifts unless they're like totally on our way which that one over there seems to be and that one is as well um ha okay so we'll be picking up some gifts but i'll also kind of be looking to quickly get some of those uh rotors so we can hopefully go and grab not grab, but we can actually get the research going for ourselves. It just despawned! What? I feel tricked. I was robbed of a gift. I don't like this game anymore. New gifts are randomly... What? Oh my god, it just despawned again! What? It despawned... Why do my gifts keep despawning? I do not approve this. What? The game keeps spawning and despawning gifts in front of my eyes to kind of, I don't know. Feels like it wants to make me sad. Did you see our tune, by the way? We've got a Santa hat as well. 
<laughs> I love this game sometimes. But w what is this? I want my gifts. I demand my gifts. What are you even doing? All the gifts are gone and no new ones are spawning in. I feel robbed. What the heck? That's not fair. That's just not fair. Huh. I I hope the gift uh, the game will spawn in some new gifts for me for compensation and stuff like. Oh, what the heck? Speaking of which, I think one of them just landed on top of the roof. <laughs> Wait, I gotta check that out. We've got our uh, rotors right here. Let's. Did one actually just land on top of the roof the second I said that? I just saw some gifts, like, particle thingies splash down. Oh my god, I mean, that that's not the roof. But one certainly did land. Now, how do I get over there without having a despawn? I'm just gonna build some foundations, I think. We are just going to build, like, a stairway of foundations to get ourselves up there. I feel it may be kind of connected to us driving around in the truck. Maybe you actually need to do it on foot and it for some reason despawns things while you're driving on the truck. Not sure if that's intended or a bug, but uh, yeah. Interesting, most definitely. And oh, that was close. There's another one coming down. Okay, I feel, I feel it's honestly somehow connected to the truck. Because look at this. Gifts are starting to spawn everywhere again. I feel just like the spawning mechanism somehow stops when you drive with a truck. Maybe it's because you're that fast and the game just can't keep up or something? I'm really not quite sure. But what I do know is we've got enough for the Christmas tree and what I also do know is there is a whole load of these gifts. Those nearly just landed on top of each other even. This is madness. Santa's really being like super, super generous this year. Like. Holy moly, that's a lot of gifts. I like it. There's even more. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> just just casually accidentally delete the platform below you. What could go wrong, right? Ah, oh, lordy lord. Okay. So, theoretically, I guess I don't want to use my truck right now. I'm not sure. Let's maybe abstain from that for a minute. I'm just going to go and... Uh, walk you know or whatever walking is kind of kind of already forgot about it but I'm hoping that if I walk around things shouldn't despawn in my face so let's try that and just leave the truck there for a minute as far as I can see they're now all staying around so I don't know kind of unsure if it's a bug or if it's intended it's definitely leading me into some hoggies which you know I never quite like but gifts we. I, I timed that quite nicely, I guess. Hello. Probably want to hit him sometime, right? Hello. Come over here. Oh, God. Okay. Got him. Nice. And uh, we even get a gift on the way back. I I'm not sure I'm ever going to make it back to my base at this rate. Like, I'm just going to keep running after gifts until eventually there's one that's in my base. Am I not? <laughs> Oh, that's glorious. Okay, well, I'm gonna just probably cut out the way back to the base for you all and uh, collect some more gifts on the way, because uh, why not? We all want some Christmas trees and uh, other dank goodies, don't we? So I'm I'm just gonna take the chance and take whatever Christmas gifts I can grab, and uh, I'll meet you all when I finally made it back up to the hub. All right, back I am. Um. Oh my god, I was just about to say there's finally no more gifts in front of me than there's another one. Um, as you can see, I, I, I was actually led around the base in one huge circle by a trail of gifts, but we finally, finally made it back home at least. And, uh, well, let's go to the map. Let's actually research the first thing, which apparently is going to give us a giant Fixmas tree and Fixmas tree branches. Looking awesome. Only three seconds, so maybe we can go right to the next thing then. Very good. I, uh, how do I build that then? Do I need to use gifts to build it or? Wait a second. No, I don't. Oh my god. 50 reinforced iron plates for a flipping Christmas tree. That's pretty darn pricey. And I need these things here. For which I need, oh my lordy lord. That's such a grind. 
but it's so good I need that in my life. Oh my god, and then we've got ornaments. Which are like so hugely and utterly expensive. Oh my god. But it's so good. Uh, how? Wait. I need this to research this? No, upgrade one. But like. How do I. What? How do I get these then? Okay, I mean, this I can research, alright? That, I can research through this. So that's all pretty doable. But how do I get ornaments? Because, like, I need this to make ornaments, don't I? Or do I not? So many questions. I don't even know. But okay, so, first things first. Let's go in here. Let's get this thing done. Because I think, uh, you know. Oh my god. Seriously? Wait, did the pod change? Wait. Let's watch this thing. No, it's still the same thing, right? No, no, like, Santa sled to something. Oh, wait, we didn't even get more... Okay, it's just the standard pod. But I didn't even notice that we even got more pocket space and stuff. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. Unfortunately, no Santa sled or something. That's, uh... Unfortunate, but look at this, so much invent- Oh my god, so much inventory space, actually. I oh, know, I mean, we cleared out a bit of it, but... It's great. It's awesome. The more, the merrier. I'm very happy about that. We can now make a Xenobasher, which I definitely intend on making. And maybe we can still make this, this episode. I don't know, when, when is the thing back? Where do I see that? Usually I see it out here, don't I? Oh no, here. Two minutes. Okay, that should be doable. But okay, so, Xenobasher, I guess we make that here. What do we need? That's not too bad, I just need another Xeno Zapper. Which is easily made. Okay, that's great. So we just make it like that, we... Well, I need to unequip my current one, which is fine, I don't I don't need that when I've got the Xeno Zapper, I guess. Or, wait, the Xenobasher, because this is the Xeno Zapper. And then I've even got a free slot, which I can either use for a free slot or for my chainsaw. I think I kind of want to use it for a free slot. Because, I mean, you guys know, right? I, I love to take screenshots for Instagram and everything. It's just so useful. And we, we don't really need that chainsaw as much anymore, so I think it's fine. But that's great. Let's make ourselves a Xenobasher. Easy. We've got everything we need already. It's perfect. That is just perfect. Now we've got our nice big Xenobasher. I don't think it really says anything about, like, damage difference and stuff, but overall... Look at that. Artoon checking it out. Sick. I love it. I do know uh, about how this thing works and looks and everything. I did have it before in my old save, so it's nothing particularly new to me. But it's great to have. I think it dealt a lot more damage from what I can remember, so that should be a very nice and worthwhile upgrade for us. Now that said, how do I make these Christmas tree branch thingies? Or where do I make them? Oh my god, I don't know. That's the confusing thing about this, right? I, I've got no clue where I get this stuff. I mean, one would think that you'd just make it out of crafting table or something, but... Oh my god, that's the pod. <laughs> I felt some aliens were landing or something, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. But, I mean, yeah, we've got the... How do I make the... Hmm... There should be some sort of wiki or something, right? Parts? Fixmas tree branch. It doesn't tell me where I make it. It doesn't tell me where I do make this. I don't know. Do, do I... Can I now just open the gifts or something, maybe? No. So where do I make this? Because, like, obviously... It's nowhere to be found in here. Or do I need a Christmas tree to make it? No, because I needed to make the Christmas tree. Oh my god, this Christmas stuff is a bit confusing, not gonna lie. It's like, I mean, I'm, I'm looking through this. I'm not blind, am I? It's definitely not in here. 
And it's definitely not in there. It's kind of the only two places I can think of where I can even craft things. Unless I need to do it with a machine, but that would be weird. Are you for real? I really need a constructor for my tree branches? Why can I not make that myself? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Okay, we're gonna go and set up a tree branch construction line, I suppose. And... I don't know, where are we gonna do it? <laughs> I don't have any space. I've got no space out here. I mean, maybe we can just make this a bit wider. And set up a new line right here, I guess. Huh. Interesting. Really didn't think I would need a new construction line just for a Christmas tree, but... That's how things are made in Satisfactory, I suppose. That was totally not intended. Okay. Should be good enough, shouldn't it? So, let's just quickly make this then. I'm gonna go and... Take a storage container. Which we are... Could put right here in the middle, and that's the wrong way around. Let's redo that. Just like that. And then we will need a constructor, which we can find right there. And uh, I don't really want to squeeze it in, so we're just going to place it like right there instead. Perfect. Going to make a conveyor belt mark one there out, out there. And we're going to go and put a, another. Storage container, which is going to go right there. Gonna connect it up, and there we go. That's our easy, quick production line. So we need the tree branch, of course. And we do need a new set of power lines, I think. Do we have any more attachments out here? We don't. That's an issue. Do we have any more anywhere else? Why did I make that this way? I don't know. I guess we can pull it out from there. It's a bit weird, but it will work. So, we're going to put that right there. We're going to attach that to this. Uh, this recipe is set. We're going to go... I'm just going to go and lob all my gifts at this. I'm not sure if we really ever need them for anything else, or we, if we just permanently use them for the branches, but look at this! This is literally like Santa's... Oh my god! This is like Santa's factory. Now, do you know what we still need right here? The only thing we still need is going to be a nice sip of coffee right there. Glorious. <laughs> this is so going to be my Instagram screenshot. Like, It's perfect. And, uh, whoa, we get some branches out, I guess. It's uh, pretty slow, I'll have to say. But then again, I mean, we do need time to collect these gifts as well, so I don't think we really need to badly overclock it right now or anything, but that's... It's gonna take a minute for us to get all these tree branches. I like this, though. This is gonna be great. We're gonna have our own Christmas tree, we're gonna upgrade it and make it big and beautiful and... Well... It's gonna be awesome, I hope. I'm not sure where I even want to place it thus far. Maybe right here next to the space elevator? We'll see about that. But, uh, well... It seems that uh, Christmas is taking up all of this episode so far. I haven't really done much of anything else other than, well, hunted down things. I mean, we did. We did get the Xenos up. So uh, that's a good and nice milestone. That should help us kill things a lot faster. kind of want to try it out, to be honest, so maybe we should do that. I am also going to start this milestone, I think. Maybe we're even going to finish it real quick. It shouldn't be all too complicated. We only really need a bit of concrete for it, and, well, the steel beams and steel pipes, but honestly, those have been producing for so long, I kind of estimate that we should have enough for it. So, let's see. Concrete goes in right there, most definitely. I'm just going to go and uh, run around here again. Maybe even going to try and find myself a hog, if possible. I'm probably going to be back with you all when we have found ourselves a hog. All right, back I am. Here's our hoggy. Also collected a few more Christmas gifts. Oh, uh, two of them. Okay. So, I think like 30%, 33% sort of in damage increase. I used to... I used to have to hit these thingies four times with the Xeno Zapper now with the Xeno Basher. I'm pretty sure it was just three times, but also... 
I'm pretty sure this thing does attack a bit faster too. So, well, overall one hit damage increased a lot and also attack speed increased a lot. I'm happy, I'm satisfied. It's it's not nothing super crazy, I wouldn't say. Like, uh, no insane increases in damage, but certainly very helpful. Let's see how good it's going to do for us though against the big hoggies or if it's even going to be able to kill them for us. I I was a little more hopeful at the start then and I'm, I'm a little less hopeful now but I don't know. I, I think that remains to be seen in a Praxis test and well hopefully we won't die and lose everything. Let's uh, let's see about that. But a few more Fixmas gifts collected then that's always great and there was a gift splash out over there too. There's even another one over there. There's so many gifts. I keep being so distracted in this game. But okay, I'm gonna go. And uh, I think we're just gonna walk up right here, which is gonna take me a minute. And gonna see if we can't get ourselves enough steel beams and pipes to actually fulfill this target and hopefully go and get ourselves the last bits we need for whatever I was even researching there. Oh yeah, Logistics Mark Three. I mean, it would be kind of nice, right? Because, oh my god, I've got so many. Okay, not so many steel beams, but I think it may actually be a great thing. Because honestly, I mean, Mark II conveyor belts have been so expensive for us, because like, our overall reinforced iron plate production, while it's kind of picking up now, especially with these backlogs here, and you can see, I mean, we've got a lot lying around there now. Overall, I think historically, we, we haven't really had that much of it. So, I think it could be very much the case that it just enables us to speed up our logistics a lot more. Because we'll now have the ability to say, okay, we're going to scrap Mark 1s totally. And we're always going to have, well, except where we definitely don't need it, right? And like slow production or something, but other than that, we will just always have Mark IIs or Mark Threes, and by spreading it across steel parts or reinforced iron plates, we can always have enough to make either of those, which would be awesome, because I uh, that's kind of what I assume we'll need to make these Mark III conveyor parts, but let's find out. I'm just going to throw these things in here real quick, and I'm going to launch the pod again, and we'll have some new Mark III conveyors nice and stuff. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage yep. container and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. Just need steel beams for it, and 270 resources a minute is a crazy improvement. I mean, that's a lot, a lot, a lot of war. That's gonna be great, especially for like our coal power, I think. Because even Mark II's limited us to effectively the output of a Mark I miner. So with this, I think we could have easily the output of a Mark II miner and a lot more coal power plants. And we do make a lot of these. So, really nice. Really, really positive of this. I, uh, well, I'm pretty happy overall. A lot of things still to do, especially with the Christmas thing. I'm gonna try my best and have, like, a proper Christmas tree done before Christmas for, for me, for you guys, for everyone, so... Uh, let's see about that. I'm gonna maybe even try and collect some gifts in between episodes and well then I'm pretty sure next episode we'll finally get the tree up and hopefully get some upgrades in and uh, make it all beautiful in time for Christmas or Fixmas or whatever you may celebrate. <laughs> but alright, with that said and the episode already way over time, I'm gonna end it off right here. Really sorry that it's been a bit late this week now, but I hope you all understand that I was just a bit sick. And I, I hope you're looking forward to all the other episodes. I hope you enjoyed this one. As always, if you did, please make sure to hit that like button down below. That does always help the channel out a ton. And if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet and want to stay around for future episodes on Satisfactory and other games, also definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below, as well as that bell icon right next to it to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes. And with that all said, as always, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. And I hope I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.